at Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. You're looking at Chief Osceola aboard Renegade. Historically, Osceola, one of the most ingenious and unrelenting warriors, symbolic of the entire indomitable Seminole Nation. And their enduring strength. This one of the great all-time traditions in college football. anticipation because it's been a very tumultuous week especially for their head coach Bobby Bowden there's never been a week like this in his entire 34 years the question begs how will he respond against the Yellow Jackets Florida State Georgia Tech right now College football on ESPN primetime as the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets take on the Florida State Seminoles. 6 0 all time against Georgia Tech here at Dope Campbell Stadium. And a look at the embattled, besieged head coach, Bobby Bowden. I'm Mark Jones along with Bob Davey. And Bob, this has been a very tough week for the Seminoles. Georgia Tech with a legit shot for the ACC title coming in, though. Yeah, Mike, Mark, for Georgia Tech, even though they lost to Miami earlier this season, their ACC title hopes are still alive. They have to win tonight, also next week in Atlanta against Virginia Tech. But if they win both, their BCS bowl hopes are alive and well. Here comes Florida State with the united front. Meanwhile, for them, it's kind of a Shakespearean, Al Davis split type of field. Well, Mark, because of all the controversy this week surrounding Bobby Bowden, people around the country may think Florida State is in disarray and divided. That's not the case. Florida State still has a chance to be a really good football team and have a great season. But you and I both know it all starts tonight. They have to win this game against Georgia Tech. And Bob, if nothing else, a symbolic show of unity on the field. They are galvanized and seemingly energized. The kickoff coming right up. Welcome back, everyone, to college football primetime on ESPN2. It's the 22nd meeting all time between Florida State and Georgia Tech. I'm Mark Jones along with Bob Davey. Bob, because it's been a tumultuous week, how important is the start of this game? Mark, as you know, it's always important to start fast in college football, but for Florida State tonight, it is critical. I mean, you mentioned it's been a week of controversy, of distractions. If they don't get off to a good start, I mean, it could unravel on them. And keep in mind, they've lost four of their last five home games here in this stadium. There's a lot of unrest in this crowd, so for the crowd's sake, they need to get off to a good start tonight. Chief Osceola throwing that spear down to symbol the beginning of the festivities. 